that will work. <laughs> Look, there's a new case available on the ticker type. Dodgy's dancing and he don't care who knows it. A dancing uncontrollably throughout all of Ooh. The Veritas Brigade is looking into a tip that Princess Bubble. I'm tired. Ah, Dodgy's tired of dancing. Oh, somebody please make it. Dancing. Dodgy's dancing and he don't care who knows it. New case! Everybody dance now. What the heck is that mean? Hey! Ben, I hear music in my brain, and it's making me want to dance. <laughs> me too! It's kind of fun! Um, I can't stop. Yeah, me either. I'm thinking this is probably a bad thing. The ticker type said everybody dance. Think this is happening to everybody? Yay! Bimo is in permanent dance mode. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. Jake, we gotta find out what's causing this. But first, we need to find a way to keep that music out of our brains. Do we have any earplugs? That music's in our brains, man, not our ears. What we need is psychic earplugs. Is that even a thing? No, but I have an idea. Remember that recipe for that killer seafood dish that Prismo gave us that time? Yeah, pickled sonic squid tentacles. Gave me weird psychic dreams for a week. Yeah, psychic dreams. It affects your brain, dude. Bet if we stuck a couple of those tentacles in our ears, it'd block out the head music. <sighs> it's worth a try. We should have all the ingredients to cook up a batch. Guess we better get started. Crystals puts the psychic in any psychic recipe. Sonic squid tentacles! Six of them! Just when we needed! I knew we had some frozen sonic squid tentacles! Only six left! It'll have to do! PB super spicy hot sauce! Oh, so spice! Cheese! That'll be perfect for cooking up our recipe. Maybe I'll take a bath later. Vinegar! Can't pickle anything without vinegar! <sighs> we should probably put one of these in the kitchen someday! One pot of water, ready for boiling. <laughs> Plenty of vinegar. Nobody wants half-pickled sonic squid tentacles. Six frozen sonic squid tentacles. They're the hero of the dish. Couple of chunks of psychic crystal for mystical goodness. 
PB Super Spicy Hot Sauce. Oh, so spice. One dash of PB Super Spicy Hot Sauce. Oh, what the heck? A whole blorp and voila. One batch of pickled Sonic Squid Tentacles. Algebraic. Awesome. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Hey, Jake, it works. I can't hear the brain music anymore. That's awesome, dude. Um, how about handing me that other pair? Oh, yeah, sure. Phew, that is so much better. Now we can hear ourselves think, and we have an extra pair we can give to anybody we need to talk to. Where should we start? Let's talk to Marceline. She knows more about music than anybody we know. Come on, Jake. It's time to solve another mystery. Oh man, just like we thought. That crazy brain music is affecting everybody. We're gonna have to talk to PB and Marceline one at a time. We only have one extra set of psychic earplugs. Well, let's get started. We need answers, Jake. I guess the psychic brain music or whatever it is affects vampires too. <sighs> I can't talk right now, Finn. This music in my head is too distracting. I can't talk right now, Finn. This music in my head is too distracting. It'd be nice to see P-Bubs kicking back and dancing, under normal circumstances. Ugh, that music! I can't have a conversation with all this brain noise! We should probably talk to both PB and Marceline before we leave. Phew! Thanks, Ben. That's much better. Marceline! You know more about music than anybody we know. You gotta help us! Sure, I'll try. So, what are you and PB up to? Well, we were jamming. Now we're dancing. Kind of obvious, Finn. Where is this music coming from? I don't know, Finn. You heard it. Sounds like it's coming from inside your brain, but since everybody hears it, we're definitely not imagining it. Have you ever heard anything like this before? No, but I studied magical music theory for a while at a decent school in the Nidosphere. Only a magic instrument or a really powerful magic spell could make music that affects so many people at once. Jake and me are gonna do our best to find out who's doing this, but if we don't, is there anything we can do to maybe drown it out? Uh, I think so. I'm pretty sure a really powerful, sustained, atonal sound at the exact opposite harmonic frequency could be enough to disrupt the music. Um, huh? A really awful noise that's the opposite of music would make the music go away. And I mean major bad. But that would probably be worse than the music. I mean, at least we're dancing now. Who knows what effect the noise would have on us? Hmm. Okay, thanks, Marceline. We'll figure something out. You might want to be quick about it. All this dancing's making me hungry. And you know how I am when I get hungry. I'm gonna need the earplugs back now, Marceline. Finn, what are you doing? Do something to help us. Don't worry, PB. Jake and me are here to help. But we don't know where to start. I'll tell you whatever I can, Finn. Is everybody in Ooh affected by this crazy music? As far as I can tell, yes. I managed to get a call through to Peppermint Butler. He said the whole Candy Kingdom is one big dance party. Well, is it really so bad if people are dancing all the time? I mean, it is good exercise, and we might get used to the music. Yeah! We could maybe just make the best of it and go for the all-time marathon dancing record. That would be awesome! No, Jake, it wouldn't. Everybody would eventually collapse from exhaustion. It has to be stopped. What about making more psychic earplugs? They seem to work. There aren't enough sonic squid in all of Ooh to make that many pairs of psychic earplugs. And even if there were, those things smell awful. Any idea where the music is coming from? 
When all of this first started, I managed to get a few readings before the dancing got intense. Something out in the hills to the south made my chromatometer go totally diatonic. Maybe you should go take a look out there. All right, princess. We'll head out to the hills and see what we can find. Thanks. Please hurry, guys. I'm afraid if we don't stop this soon, everyone in Ooh is going to dance themselves to death. Don't sweat it, PB. We'll get to the bottom of this. Sorry, princess. I gotta take back the earplugs. <laughs> dance, miniature candy man, dance! <laughs> Please! Make it stop! Ha! Magic man! We should have known you were behind this! Yeah, you'd think I'd kind of be your first guess at this point when stuff like this happens. Why are you doing this, Magic Man? Because I'm Magic Man, and I'm a jerk. Seriously, though, people like to dance. I'm just giving the people what they want. Did you actually ask them if they wanted it? What? And ruin the surprise? Can't you see that you're hurting people? They can't dance forever. I see it as helping people. Helping people realize what a jerk I am. I think it might be working. I think everybody already knows what a jerk you are, Magic Man. Well, it never hurts to be sure. You're always doing jerky stuff like this. Don't you have anything better to do? Oh, let me think. Nope, my schedule's pretty much wide open. Magic Man, come on. You've got to stop this. Stop it! Why would I do that? If I do that, things would probably get worse. If you won't stop this, we're gonna make you stop! Oh, you guys are just adorable! Make me stop, please. Anyway, I'm telling you, if you think people are unhappy now, you won't believe how unhappy they'll be if the music stops. But I can see you don't believe me. Tell you what, I'll prove it to you. Try to keep up. You know, I really don't like that guy. Yeah, well... I guess we better follow him. But somehow, I don't think he's gonna make it very easy. give up much treasure when we get all jacked up. Yeah, we totally stunk up the joint. What do you think? Do over?
Looks like those honeybees have a pretty good hive going. Sticking my hand in a beehive would not be one of my better ideas. Another well. Guess most places in U don't have indoor plumbing. A hammer? Weird. I've never heard of a hammer well. Most of them just have water. I suppose I can always use a hammer. Again. It's one of those steering wheel things. Like in that truck we fixed that time. Magic man! Oh, hey, you're here just in time. See this candy guy? Yeah, he looks miserable. <laughs> but if I change things, he could be more miserable. <laughs> See? Much worse. Follow me whenever you can. <laughs> this is fun. He's right! This is worse! Help! Uh, come on, Jake. Let's get that candy guy down. We gotta lower him onto something stable so we can get out. That's a witch hazel bush. PB told me one time that stuff is good for medicine. There's some boards covering the mine shaft, but they look kind of shaky. There! That should be stable enough to hold the mine cart. We can try lowering it now. Somebody used that rickety crane to hoist up the mine cart. There! That wheel should work just as well as a crank. Candy guy, let's get you down from there. Oh, David. Oh, no! Help! Well, that went south pretty fast. Yeah, but it sounds like the mine door is open now, so that's good. Algebraic! Awesome! Problem, Candy Dude. Hey, there's an empty jar in the minecart. Wonder how that didn't break. I got it. That's a sunflower. Bees love those things. Sunflower would definitely distract the bees. I don't want them following me. Beehive. Bet that thing's loaded with honey.
What were you thinking trying to combine those? Trunks, what are you doing way out here? Oh, Finn, I was just having a nice picnic with Mr. Pig, but he forgot the ice cream to go with the apple pie. Oh, my. Then this crazy music got in my head, and I just started dancing and dancing. Yeah, me and Jake are trying to fix that. Did you happen to see... Magic Man! Yeah, him. Still keeping up, good. But I can see you're still not convinced that there are worse things than dancing. A picnic alone is definitely worse than dancing, but I'm happy to fix that. What? Oh, man, again? But even worse is a picnic with fire ants. Oh, now you just hold on, you magic jerk, all showing up uninvited and bring an ant to a, a picnic? Magic jerk, yeah, the weird little elephant gets it. And you will too, soon. Don't give up, you're almost there. That guy really needs a hobby. I think this is his hobby. Ugh, come on, guess we're gonna have to deal with those fire ants. That must be the fire ants nest. I'm really starting to feel sorry for that candy person. We have to find a way to get rid of those ants so tree trunks can escape. a pile of loose dirt. That'll work. The bees are already heading toward it. The nest should be safe for honey gathering. There we go. One jar of honey. Good idea, dude. All that honey is luring them back to their nest. All right. Cool. Thank you, Finn and Jake. Thanks again, Finn and Jake. No offense, but I hope I don't see you guys again for a while. Just in time for another lesson. Come on, man! Another thing that could be worse than dancing constantly... ...is being trapped in a hedge! Ah, uh, not again! Why me? Well, I guess it could be worse. A hedge made of poison ivy! No, oh, it's worse! And uh, it is so bad! Don't let a little rescue mission stop you. You might still be able to catch me. Darn you, Magic Man! Guys! A little... Ah, help here! Forest Wizard! Man, that guy really gets around. Can't talk. Dancing! Thanks. That crazy music was interfering with my potion-making biz. We're actually glad to see you, Forest Wizard. We're trying to fix this dancing thing, but Magic Man keeps messing with us. Hey, you stopped me from dancing. At least for now. I totally owe you one. 
I'll help in any way I can. Magic Man has trapped a candy person in a big wall of poison ivy. That's very uncool. You can't just pull him out. He'd still be all itchy. What are you doing out here? I wanted to get outside and get some fresh air. Unfortunately, I have really sensitive skin. So I'm brewing up some sunscreen potion in my magical distiller. Potions explode sometimes, so it's best to do this stuff away from other people. Do you have any spells that can cure poison ivy itch? No. Skin problems are more of a potion thing. Can you make a potion that will cure the candy person's itchy so we can get him out of the hedge? That would take a while to brew from scratch. Hmm. Wait! My sunscreen potion is the same basic formula! It's just missing one key ingredient! What ingredients do we need? Well, really, the most important thing is witch hazel. That stuff cures just about anything. Okay, what do we need to do? If you add some witch hazel to the sunscreen potion, it will make a perfect cure for poison ivy itchies. Or it'll blow up, or both. It's hard to tell. Sometimes wizard science is more art than science. Cool! Thanks, Forest Wizard! I'm gonna need the earplugs back before we go. Don't waste it, Finn. We need to mix up the anti-itch potion first. It's a magical distiller for making potions. Why would I do that? Don't waste it, Finn. We need to mix up the anti-itch potion first. I don't need any sunscreen. Combination, fail. Don't waste it, Finn. We need to mix up the anti-itch potion first. <laughs> it's a magical distiller for making potions. Here goes nothing. Hey, it worked! We made the Witch Hazel Potion! Yeah! It went amazingly well, considering how things usually go for us in situations where things might explode. <laughs> now that we have that Witch Hazel Potion, we can get him out of there! Finn! You guys gotta get me out of here! Here you go, man. You can come out of the hedge now. Cool! Nice! What a happy little snail. Look, it's Magic Man's house! This must be where he's been leading us. All right, Magic Man, show yourself! No need to yell, I'm right here. It's time to end this. So, you're ready to admit there are worse things than dancing forever? What? No, the dancing is bad, it has to stop. Really? And I thought I did such a good job. I must be losing my touch. All you proved was that you can be an even bigger jerk than you were when you started this dancing biz. Yeah, man, you've had your fun. Now you're gonna make it so they don't hear that music in their heads anymore. Hmm. Hey, you know what? That's a great idea! Done! No more music in their heads, no more dancing. You're right, this is way more fun. Although I don't think your formerly dancing friends would agree. Exhibit A... Ah! Ah, that noise! Make it stop! Magic Man! Out! Dude, what now? An awful noise! Way worse than the music! Guess we should take out these earplugs and hear it for ourselves. Yep, that's worse than music, all right. Yeah, but at least it's not making us dance. Hey, guys. If you're not gonna use our 
use earplugs anymore? Uh... Huh? Oh, sure, man. Knock yourself out. Thanks! I'm out of here! Well, I guess now we have to find out what's making this new noise. I think we just did. What do you want? Lemon Grab, we need to talk to you. What are you doing so far away from Castle Lemon Grab? You usually don't like to go outside. My property has been stolen! My beautiful, beautiful sound sword! I will walk around the kingdom in hopes of finding the ones who have deprived me of my pretty article! Why is the Lemonhead making that horrible noise? The sweet lemon songs call to my sound sword. Through their melodious vibrations, the location of the sword will be revealed. Were you affected by the brain music earlier? I mean, you must have heard it. Yes, the noise was unbearable. And the dancing was offensive to us. It was unacceptable. Could you make the lemon head stop singing? It's really annoying, dude. No! The lemon songs will continue until my sound sword is found and returned to me! Hey, how about if Jake and me help you? Maybe we could find your sword and bring it back. You would help me? Hmm. That is acceptable. Well, if we agree to help you, would you make the singing stop just for a while so we can concentrate? Hmm. Yes, acceptable. But I have already sent all of my lemon gentry to all of the far corners of Oo. If my sword is not found, the lemon song will commence again for all to hear, and it will continue for 100 years. 100 years singing! Phew, thanks. Okay, so where should we start? I will start by returning to Castle Lemon Grab, where I will wait impatiently as you incompetently but obediently do my bidding. Guess we should have seen that one coming. You should start on the other side of the grasslands. Take the left fork through the forest. But keep an eye on Leroy, because I'm afraid that he's possessed. Huh? What are you talking about? This conversation is at an end. Come, my lemon minion. Looks like being sewn together from two different lemon grabs didn't change that guy much at all. He's still weird. And pretty unpleasant. <sighs> Whatevs. Guess we'd better get started finding that sound sword. Are you sure that was the right path, dude? Lemon Grab said take the left fork. But with that guy, you never. Hey! Look where we are! The house you built for Flame Princess. I thought she didn't come here anymore now that she's in charge of the Fire Kingdom. She must be here on vacation or something. I sh- we- we should go talk to her. Um, you know, about the sound sword and stuff. Ben, keep your mind on the mission. You got a job to do. Focus. Sure. Yeah, totally. Um, hey, Flame Princess. How's- how's it going? What's up? Oh, Finn, I'm so glad to see you. Really? That's great! Finn, focus. Yeah, right. Focus. So, how come you're here? I didn't think you came here anymore since you took over the Fire Kingdom. Not a lot of people know about this place. It's a good place to hide out. Are you okay? You look kind of upset. Things are pretty messed up, Finn. I'm in a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? What's wrong? My dad and his minions are still trying to kick me out and take over the Fire Kingdom. This time he has three flame guards that are loyal to him. Incendo, Combuster, and Leroy. Trying to hunt me down and capture me. Cinnamon Bun and I found out about it just in time to escape. But I think they might be closing in on us. So, we're looking for a missing sound sword that somebody took from Lemongrad. Have you seen it? No, but I've been kind of preoccupied. So, um, I couldn't help but notice you have some beans over there. My tummy's kind of rumbly. 
Mind if I have some? Uh, no. Help yourself. Awesome! Thanks! What was that about focus? We're kind of on an important mission, but it sounds like you need help. Is there anything we can do? Well, we haven't seen any sign of the flame guards yet, but I want to be ready for them. I had Cinnamon Bud building a magic fence to help hold them off, but he got a little distracted before he could finish it. Could you guys finish placing the posts and drive them into the ground? It'd be a big help. Sure thing, Flame Princess. You can count on us. Finish up those beans, Jake. It's fence building time. These must be the fence posts that Cinnamon Bun didn't finish installing. I don't like to brag, but I did a pretty good job building this house. There. Now we just have to drive it in. <laughs> Sorry. Beans. Wait, guys. Forget about the fence posts. Jake's gas problem has given me an idea. Incendo is probably going to be the first one here. And I think I might know how to deal with him. What can you tell us about Incendo? Well, he's only been flame guard for a little while, but he's been very loyal to my father. He was totally steamed when I took over the Fire Kingdom, and he's made it no secret that he wants me gone. Why do you think Incendo will get here first? One of Incendo's only good qualities is that he's very punctual. Also, he's great at tracking and finding shortcuts. Do you know what direction this guy will be coming from? Last time we saw him, he was coming from the south. You said you knew how to deal with him. Something to do with Jake's gassy butt? Yes. Incendo is a great tracker because he has a very sensitive nose. He can't stand strong odors. Maybe you could use that against him. Yep. I think I know just the strong odor we can use against this Incendo guy. If you could find a way to capture Jake's magic air and make a few stink bomb traps, that could be just the thing we need to defeat Incendo. Great! Leave that to us. We'll let you know when we're ready. No prob. I'll unblock the path when you're ready to set up the ambush. You should really think twice before you eat beans, man. Wow. I am sorry if my bean gas offends you, but I say better out than in. Plastic bag. Good for putting stuff in. People really shouldn't just throw these on the ground, though. Plastic bag. Good for putting stuff in. People really shouldn't just throw these on the ground, though. Old car. Looks like it had a pretty decent stereo. Hey, you got one of the vibrating thingies from one of the speakers. Eh, better than nothing. Whoa, dude! Those beans are making you pretty funky. Hey, man, beans give me the toots. Don't judge. Bowie. Yeah, boy! Allow me to weigh in on this problem.
Flame Princess will open the path to Incendo as soon as we make enough stink bombs to deal with them. Plastic bag plus bean gas equals stink bomb. <laughs> nice. One bean gas stink bomb, ready to go. That's it, dude. I think I'm about gassed out. Okay, Flame Princess, we're ready to set the trap. Great. Incendo and his troops are down that path. Get the stink bomb set, and we can take care of them once and for all. That's one. Two more to go. Two down. One more and we'll be ready. All right, we're ready. Princess, when we get Incendo near one of the stink bombs, you destroy it. Let's do this thing! Okay, here they come. Good luck, guys. Dude, we got tons of loot. Doesn't get much better than that. Finn, Jake, you guys did a great job defeating Incendo. He'll think twice before bothering me again. Glad we could help, but there are still two more flame guards out there that are coming for you. Who do you think we should tackle next? Combustor, definitely. What's the story on this Combustor dude? Combustor is old school. He and my dad have been hanging out together since they were kids. When my dad became king, he made sure Combustor had a prominent place in the flame guard brigade. Why should we fight Combustor next instead of the other guy? Combustor is definitely more powerful than Incendo, but he's not nearly as tough to deal with as Leroy. We should really build gradually to Leroy. Trust me. Where did you last see Combustor? Last I heard, he and his goons were headed in from the east. They were looking for me in the Ice Kingdom, as if I'd ever go there to hide out. All right, so that Incendo guy had a weakness. How about Combustor? Combustor is an expert at combat, and he can stop pretty much any attack. But it's really easy to make him angry. When he's frustrated, he forgets his training and attacks head-on. Literally. 
Of course, I don't know how that will help. He's very hard-headed. Really, his skull is twice as thick as a normal flame person's. Hmm. We'll have to find a way to work with that info. So, where do we start? I just cleared the path to the north. Head up there. When you're ready, I'll let down the defensive barriers and you can take on Combustor and his minions. I hope you can handle them. Don't worry, Princess. Just leave that stuff to the heroes. Yeah, sure. You really don't need to do that. I've told you that it makes me uncomfortable when you stare. Hi, Slime Princess! Bye, Slime Princess! Hmm. Weird. Oh! Ow! My nose! Oh! Man, I am so bummed out! Uh, hey, Ice King. Oh, hey, guys. We saw a slime princess run out of here. What happened? We were on a date, and we had a little disagreement. What kind of a disagreement? Oh, you know, what to do on a date, where to go on a date, that I kidnapped her to go on a date, the usual stuff. You seem depressed. You know, more than usual. Well, I always get upset when I'm confronted by my sense of relationship inadequacy. Huh? I has a sad when I think about how I can't woo the ladies. Ah. How come you froze that geyser? When I get really upset, I lose it and freeze stuff sometimes. It's something I'm trying to work on. What happened to your nose? Looks like you hurt it. I tripped and fell when I tried to catch up with Slime Princess. My nose went right through that mound of grass and up popped a geyser. The water must be really close to the surface here. Crazy. Hey, uh, you guys mind if I hang out for a while? And maybe you'll think of some advice for me or something. <sighs> sure, why not? Finn, I know there's got to be a way to use all this to defeat Combustor. We just have to figure it out. What? Use somebody else's misery to accomplish our mission? Hey guys, maybe we should think about pulling an all-nighter on this one back at your place. I got a lot of stuff to work out. I'm in. Wow, Ice King froze that geyser solid. The ground is kind of bubbly here. Must be some water pressure under there. Wow, that ice is solid as a rock. I can't start a geyser with my bare hands. 
Gotta really sink this fence post deep to make a geyser. One geyser coming up. Now we gotta get Ice King to freeze it. <laughs> gotta really sink this fence post deep to make a geyser. Now we got a guy. Let's trick Ice King into freezing him. Maybe I come on too strong. You think that's it? Maybe I should find a more subtle way to kidnap the princesses. Something more romantic. Or maybe you could just lock yourself up in the Ice Kingdom, cut yourself off from the world, and become a fanfic writing hermit. You'd be great at that. Oh, you're right. I won! Man, that was pretty harsh. We needed another ice column, dude. Sacrifices had to be made. Aw, talking to you guys isn't helping at all. I'm gonna go talk to Gunter. He's a much better listener. Have you guys figured out what to do? Yeah, we're gonna trick Combustor into smashing his head against these super hard frozen geysers. Not even his super thick skull will stand up to that. That just might work. All right, guys, here they come. combat awesomeness. Check out all the dosh we got. <laughs> yeah, we kicked some serious booty. Flame Princess, don't worry. We already took down two of those guys that were after you. One more and you're safe to go back and rule the Fire Kingdom. You guys just don't get it. Those other guys might have been tough, but they're nothing compared to Leroy. Okay, so tell us about Leroy. Leroy is the most experienced flame guard in the Fire Kingdom. He served and helped to overthrow seven different rulers. He's only ever been loyal to my father, and he's sworn to make it his mission to remove me from power. So, if this Leroy guy's so tough, where's he hiding? He's not hiding. He's just taking his time. He knows there's no hurry because no one has ever defeated him. He's still a little ways off to the east. I guess you better give us the scoop on this guy's weaknesses. That's just it, Finn. As far as I know, Leroy has no weaknesses. He's the most powerful and invulnerable flame guard that has ever served in the Fire Kingdom. That does not sound good. It's not. Rumor has it he somehow got his hands on a weapon that fires powerful sound waves. He doesn't even have to touch his enemies to defeat them anymore. Lemon grab sound sword. It has to be. Yeah, we need that sword. Now we have two reasons to lay the beat down on Leroy. Maybe you guys should just give up and go home. I had a good run as ruler of the Fire Kingdom. Maybe it's just time I stepped aside. No way, Flame Princess. You're a totally math ruler. I'm a... We're gonna save you. Well, okay. I just opened up the path to the east. Go ahead and scout the place out and figure out how you're going to fight Leroy. 
You've got a little while, but don't take too long. Once they get here, I won't have a choice but to let Leroy and his men through. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Oh my glob! What's wrong with this thing? What the? Why is Lumpy Space Princess out here? I don't know. We've got to get her to leave or she might get hurt. LSP! You have to get out of here! There's gonna be a huge dangerous battle here any minute! No way, Fen. I was here first! What are you doing out here anyway? Singing. Duh! Seriously, LSP, you have to leave. Now! I'm not going anywhere. You and Jake just want me to lose again like last time. No lump and wait! What are you saying? None of your lump and business, Jake. I'm keeping my set list secret this time. How much longer will you be? I mean, you really don't have much time, seriously. I don't know. The stupid speaker is broken. I can't practice with a broken speaker. The sooner it starts working, the sooner I'll be done. Okay. If we promise to help you, will you leave right after? Yeah, whatever. I'll leave if you fix the speaker. And help me rehearse. Guess we don't have a choice, Jake. The faster we do what she says, the faster she'll leave. What are you guys still doing here? Fix my lumpen speaker already. You ever get the feeling there's more to these snails than meets the eye? All right, LSP, your speaker's fixed. You can start rehearsing. About time. <clears throat> my lumps, I know you want to slump up on these lumps, but you can't cause you're a chump, these lumps. Ugh, that sounds awful. Ben, turn the speaker so I can hear myself better. There, try it now. Oh, it's too loud. Maybe if I step back. My lumps, I know you want to up upon these lumps, but you can't cut your chop. Now the speaker's pointed the wrong way again. Ben, move it. <sighs> Try it again. From the top. My lumps. I know you want to slump upon these lumps, but you can't cause you're a chump. Ah, uh, no, I still sound terrible. You suck at fixing speakers, Fen. That's it, I'm out of here. I cannot work with amateurs! I thought she'd never leave, dude. Yeah, but all this biz with the microphone and speaker gave me an idea of how to deal with Leroy. Flame Princess, I think we have a plan. If Leroy really has the sound sword, we can use LSP's setup to turn it against him. Let Leroy's guys through. We're ready. I sure hope so. Here they come. Prepare to taste the wrath of Leroy Flame Guard. Look, Finn, we were right. He's got Lemon Grab's sound sword. Yeah, makes things interesting, doesn't it? Now, do you finally get how there could be worse things than dancing? Magic Man, you take jerkdom to a whole new level. I try, I really do. Have fun not dancing. You guys are going down from my loud waves of sound. Yeah? Bring it on, Leroy. We're ready for you.
anyone else hear that ringing sound? Oh! I don't feel so good. I think I'll just rest here for a bit. Mm. Well, those guys won't be bothering us again. Yeah, unless we, you know, wanted to fight them again, get more treasure and stuff. Well, Flame Princess, that's the last of them. You can go back to ruling the Fire Kingdom in peace. For now, at least. Fire Kingdom seems kind of unstable, politics-wise. Flame people are hotheads. What are you gonna do? We'd love to stay and talk, Princess. But we better get moving. Come on, Jake. It's time to head over to Castle Lemongrab. Castle Lemongrab is definitely not a happy place. Yeah, this place really creeps me out. Let's give Lemon Grab their sword and get out of here. It's unlocked. Guess we can just go in. Lemon Grab, look what we've got. See, I told you these guys were the ones who took your noisy sword. Magic Man, what the? Lemon Grab, he's lying. My work here is done. Darn you, Magic Man! What? My sound sword! Thieves! You stole my thing! Huh? No. You asked us to help you find it, and we did. We're bringing it back to you. You stole it! And now you come to steal more of my precious things? Theft is unacceptable! Dude, settle down. We're not here to steal your... Unacceptable! For the last time, Lemon Grab, we didn't steal your 100 years dungeon! And my lemon peeps will recommence their lovely lemon songs from all the corners of Ooh as soon as my remote reconditioning device is ready. But you don't have any reason for them to sing. You have your sword back. You don't need to call it anymore. The sweet sounds of my lemon peeps will block out the evil dancing noise music should it ever come again. But 100 years singing! 100 years dungeon! No parole! Whoa! Yeah! Ugh. Oh. That dude has anger management issues. Whew. Now what do we do? Yeah, hopefully not end up like that dude. The collar? Hmm. Seems like I remember the lemon people wearing shock collars like that last time I was here with PB. A marker pen? Poor guy must have been counting his days in the dungeon. Gotcha! Looks like somebody started to file through the bars but gave up. Why would I do that? Looks like that guy might have been trying to dig his way out. Got it! Hey! It's one of those file things! Well, that was easy. Wonder why that dude didn't just finish the job. Mathematical! Cool! Snail. Come on, Finn. Let's find a way out of this loony bin. But Lemon Grab said he's got his peeps making that horrible noise all over Ooh. We can't leave until we find a way to stop it. Yeah, I guess you're right. What are we gonna do to make him stop it? Hmm. Hey, I know. We'll prank him. Um, I'm getting a little deja vu here. Now, haven't we done that before? Like. A lot? Isn't that getting a little, what's the word, predictable? I think the word you're looking for is perfected. But that last time when you were trapped here with Princess Bubblegum, it didn't work out at all. You got put in prison. We just got out of prison. That's because chemistry betrayed me and wrecked the prank. Stupid chemical reactions not working in pudding. Also, Kibi didn't have her heart in it. She doesn't have a sense of humor anymore like she did when she was young that time. And you're the funnest guy I know. Anyway, third time's a charm. 
Hmm, yeah, okay. Maybe you got something there. I'm in. Oh yeah, it's pranking time. Let's look around. There's gotta be some prime pranking possibilities around here. It's a short piece of rope. I got it. It's just a regular door. Dude, what is up with this place? It kind of looks like a baby's room. Whatever it is, we should probably take a look around. Maybe we'll get some good prank ideas. Yeah, but all that's in here is a bunch of doll stuff. Look at all these doll-sized sleeping bonnets. Lemon Grab must tie a different one on the doll's head every night. Maybe we can find a way to use these tiny doll-sized sleeping bonnets for something. Looks like a notepad with something written on it. Dear little Lemon Sweets, Daddy came by to play, but you were asleep. I will be back later for dance time. Mmm, Lemon Grab. Lemon Sweets must be the doll, and Lemon Grab thinks it's a kid or something. Well, since dolls can't read. I know a good prank. Dear Lemon Grab, I am running away because you smell like dog buns. Mmm, lemon sweets. He'll think his baby has run away. It'll drive him crazy. What a creepy doll. I think everything in this room was made for this thing. Good thinking. Lemon Grab will flip out if his doll is missing, and maybe we can use the doll for another prank later. Tying the bonnets to the rope makes it look like the doll made a rope to escape with. There! Now it looks like the doll ran away by climbing out the window! Everything's set for the prank! Let's hide and call Lemon Grab. This is going to be great! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! Lemon sweets, my son. What's wrong? Oh, oh lemon sweets. Hmm. What's that? A, a note? Hmm. Yeah. Lemon grab. I'm running away because you smell like dog buns. Love lemon sweets. R run away? No. Lemon sweets. A, a rope. He's gone out the window. Lemon sweets. Lemon sweets. Where are you? Lemon sweets. Oh, where can my lemon sweets be? Watch this. My lemon buns! Oh, oh unacceptable. Yeah, man. We pranked him good. <laughs> yeah, let's think of another one. All right. Yeah. Some kind of electronic security door. Gonna be tough to get past that. A remote control. They control stuff remotely. That door has some kind of fancy electric security lock gizmo on it. This thing doesn't have a keyhole or buttons, just some kind of speaker. I bet that's a sound lock. That screaming noise the lemon people make must be just the right pitch to activate it. Man, I guess we're stuck. I don't know how we're gonna activate that thing without a lemon person to scream it open. Hmm, maybe not. I have an idea. You still got that shot collar thing, right? Put it on. Yeah, sure, okay. But I don't know how this is supposed to help. Really? Not the remotest idea? <laughs> I'm sure something will come to you. Okay. Ah! Jake, what the heck? 
<laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. Priceless, dude. Not cool, man. Aw, oh, lighten up, dude. It worked, didn't it? Yeah, I guess. But from now on, how about we stick to pranking Lemon Grab? You got it. Um, just in case, you might want to take off that collar. Cause that scream of yours cracks me up! Weird. I would have guessed it would spew lemonade, not water. Done! One jar of nasty fountain water! Sweets looks comfortable in there. That's a good first step to a great prank. All right, Lemon Sweets is way up there in the catcher's mitt. Is that the prank? Almost. Lemon Grab will jump up to get the doll, but we're gonna give him something interesting to land him when he comes back down. Not exactly sure where you're going with this, but you're the prank master. Yeah, I am. Now, let's find a place to hide. Let's hide in here and get this prank party started! Ahem! Father, help me! I'm trapped! Oh my! Is that you? Lemon Sweets? Have you come back? Lemon Sweets? How did my favorite mid thing get there? Where is my remote control? And how did you get stuck, Lemon Sweets? Hmm, never mind. I'm just happy you are back. Wait there! I will rescue you! Oh, now what? What an unacceptable day I'm having. <laughs> That's funny. Now what are you gonna do? I'm gonna make his landing a little more interesting. Time to make his landing a little more interesting. Now to put a jar of nasty fountain water under his feet. What? Who, who's down there? No! My shoes! Wet feet are unacceptable! What's the matter, Lemon Grease? Afraid of a little water? You! I am not Grease! One million years done! Oh! Oh! Ha! Prank! Ow! Unacceptable! Yeah! Sweet! I wonder if I was too hard on him. <laughs> nah. Nah, he's had enough. For now. Okay, now that Lemon Grab has been pranked, we need to find out how to stop his lemon peeps from screaming before he comes after us. Man, how do we get into messes like this? Magic Man! Oh yeah, right. Hey again, guys! So, things going okay? Everything good? No, man! Things are not good! Hey, don't get an attitude with me! You could be dancing right now instead of being in this predicament. You started this whole thing! You need to help us stop Lemon Grab's peeps from making that noise and then stop messing with us! Yeah, you owe us! Take us to whatever Lemon Grab is using to control the lemon heads. Right now! Hey, no problem. Consider it done. Aw oh, man, the reconditioning chamber. I remember this place. Lemon Grab uses it to shock people. Hey, that console out there. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, I bet that's what he's gonna use to make the lemon peep scream. He's probably gonna rig it to a remote control and send a super powerful shock signal from the reconditioning chamber to their shock collars. But what he doesn't know is that we have the remote control. Right, but we still gotta destroy that console. If we can get out of here, that is. Ah, good. There you are. Mm, acceptable. I think we're in trouble, dude. Mm, yes, trouble. Your pranking was both unfunny and unacceptable. Lemon Grab, listen. We didn't... Listening is over. You will be reconditioned. Maximum juice. Let the charge cycle begin. This made me angrier than your previous pranks of the hot sauce in the Candy Kingdom and the fizzing pud incident at my state dinner. And I suspect you have my remote control for these offenses. You must be reconditioned. 
I will monitor the controls and ignore you until the reconditioning commences. Jake, we gotta find a way out of here before that thing finishes charging. Okay, now what? I got an idea. Give me that shock collar. Okay, give me a sec. I know exactly what to do. Steady, steady. Gotcha! What? What is this? This is unacceptable! He hit the door lever. Now's our chance, Finn. Yeah, he's not going to bother us now. Break that thing so he can't use it anymore. hi -ya! You did it, man! That thing's gonna blow! Hi, I'm back! Just thought I'd say goodbye before you recondition- Out here, dude! Oh my. He really should stop messing with us. This console is a goner, but just in case, I'll nab this lever. That'll make it harder to rebuild. No! My juice lever! I won't be able to make my feet sing! He'll come back and live here again! I guess our work here is done. Another successful Finn and Jake investigation. Um, you think those guys will be all right? Yeah, probably. Okay. Laters! Oh. Unacceptable! Case on the ticker type. Let's grab it and get started. 